Adventure Podcast. In Minecraft. With Adventure Steve. And Adventure Sam. about our adventures in Minecraft. 116 edition. 116 edition. Point two. Point two. Modded or vanilla? Vanilla. Vanilla, which means without mods. Right. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. I don't always understand. Potato. <laughs> Potato. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to say about your 116.2 server? Uh, the one sixteen two server has been running. How long is it? It's been running for at least a couple months for sure. And players have been playing, and there's a small group of players on it. Recently, there's not many much activity, but I can do some silliness, and I can cause that to happen. I can increase the population. <laughs> so basically, you're the uh, server. You're the guy that serves up the content. The content. Yes. And where is this actually hosted? Is this coming out of a machine in your basement? Uh, no, this is coming from server hosting. From server hosting. But that way everyone can have access to it any time of day or night, whether or not you remember to turn on the server in the basement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we might we might have tried the server in the basement idea a couple years back. It has some advantages and it has some disadvantages. So, what is it? What's available in Minecraft sixteen two vanilla? Well, and recently one sixteen two. Well, it's the Nether update where they added a higher tier to diamonds and got rid of zombie pigmen. And I'm not going to go through the change log because that would take a good couple minutes because they did a lot. But that's about it. <laughs> like a very brief overview. Okay. And so then you have a server and there's six, eight, ten different... Ten for sure. Ten different people that log in and do things. And you've kind of got a village, town, shaping up. Yes, there is a village town in the main spawn area. And there's a tavern. And under underground ruins and this was all built by players all in survival as well okay so it's all done in survival mode none of this no no creative no creative and now we have a public service announcement do you think you're special are you an abandoned orphan raised by cruel step parents is a village elder secretly teaching you magic or martial arts and babbling on about prophecy If this is the case, you may be at risk for Chosen One Syndrome. Every year, hundreds of young people fall victim to COS. This fearsome condition can make you wander away from home, engage in dangerous activities, and often results in a grisly death. Parties of adventurers are always looking for someone to walk point or scout on ahead for monsters. But beware. That pile of supposedly magic swords and cheap fake amulets at the end of the dimly lit corridor didn't just get there on its own. COS is a serious medical condition that can lead to false hopes, delusions of grandeur, and premature death by dragon. You should especially avoid smoky taverns full of shifty adventurers. Beware, you are probably just another commoner. Chosen One Syndrome. Why don't you just stay home? Brought to you as a public service by the National Adventuring Council. Okay, so, well, maybe you can kind of walk us through a little bit about your server. (laughs) I am seeing his screen, and it's like, oh, okay, he's in with the nether. Yeah, currently I'm in the nether, actually. I was working on gathering resources for a project I was working on in the nether. Or not in the nether, but in the overworld. It's just, it's faster travel in the nether. 
And with the video, you can see some of the stuff. We'll, we'll post a link. There's um, Warped Forest. Warped Forest in 116? Yeah, which is a 116 new biome. Okay. So we'll be trying to make this available probably on a YouTube channel, which you will find as a link in the show notes. Note to self, we need to make show notes. <laughs> yes. So that's an actual picture of kind of the peninsula. The that peninsula looks a little bit like a dragon's head, you know? You're not wrong. Anyway. Yes. So you have this village that your spawn point th there is at this village. Yes. Currently here. So, so take us through. So there's a little fountain. Yeah, we have the spawn fountain. Spawn fountain with a giant pickaxe and water coming out of the base. Yeah, the uh, the first Ender Dragon egg that was ever the first Ender Dragon that was killed on the surface. Oh, dang it! Uh, <laughs> it was uh, we have the egg of the first Ender Dragon kill on the top of it. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a monument. Yeah. We have the community nether portal, which is just a giant sword in the ground. It looks like a giant sword stuck in the ground. Then the actual, this tower right next to it is actually the, uh... The actual spawn point? The spawn locator coliseum thingy kebab. It's just, it's where the world spawn is set. And I wanted to build something nice for it, so I did. Then this is the shopping area. Only three shops... One was used for something and then not used immediately afterward. A shopping district. Di hey. The village is called the Sunrise. Or no, not Sun. Or, or, ne back up, back up. Yes. The village is. The village is called Ors Rest and the market is called the Sunrise Market. Ors Rest? Yes. How do you spell that? The word or and then rest. Oh, as in a resting oar from a boat? Yes. Okay, I get it. I didn't get to... I didn't, I didn't see the name of the village anywhere. Ah. To oars rest. Yeah. And then... Oh, wait. There's actually... I forgot. There's this other shop called The Grind. The where, Grind? <laughs> yeah. You buy, like, grindia blocks. Actually, how much is that? Uh, one diamond per verse. I might buy that. So we have a barter system then that uses uh, use diamonds. We, primarily, you can use diamonds, or we have it set up where you can use iron or gold or whatnot. It's just that the gold, the iron and gold system is getting really low due to the fact that De uh, Robert, uh, one of the players, one of the players, has set up an iron farm. So then that means infinite iron. So there's a bunch of iron coming through. So okay. then there's a large iron explosion. Then there's a, another player's house here, and another structure back there. So even though the uh, the server world has only been going for a, a few months, shall we say, uh, between everybody there's been hundreds and hundreds of hours of play happened. Yes. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got another player's house here. I do not know what their intentions are. Their own interesting, unique look. Yeah. And then up over the hill is the tavern. Okay. This is the tavern. I think you were the uh, contractor that built it, shall we say? Yes. And what's it called? The tavern? Uh, I think it was on the front door. It was. The front and door says... The Bee and Barb. The Bee and Barb. And it's got a nice color and it's it's where the uh, players would come to RP if players were on the server right uh, and that's something we may look at in later episodes is maybe uh, during an episode maybe interview one of the players and and do it say in the tavern where we can talk about Minecraft in Minecraft yes because we're, we're intending to have this be an audio podcast but also have video options with it yeah. Uh, now I'm currently heading to the uh, to my original house that I had built on the server. 
his original house, <laughs> marked by the bamboo, bamboo forest, and forest a cave. inside and a cave with much lava yes. streaming down. And if I go around the side, there'll be the uh, strip mine. And there'll be strip mine, as well as, uh, don't you have a couple guard dogs? Eh, couple. The one. There's one. The two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, roughly. Nine, ru- nine, roughly. Yeah. So this is my first house. I had my storage room here, and then the my bed was back here. Why is there st- I don't know. <laughs> um, I worked on it. This is a secondary room I had built. This is towards another player's house up there. And then I built another structure down here. This is underground? Yes. And then you come around here and this is into my little village that I've built. You have your own village? Oh, with villagers? No. No? No, I have not got them yet. I have not got them to go anywhere or done anything with them yet. You've been collecting villagers? Yes. Using them? No. Okay, and it looks like you're planting carrots by the looks of things. Mm -hmm. And he's got a kind of an semi-automated, quasi-automated um, farm. Yes. The, f- the main barn with the pigs, there's nothing upstairs. I should put something up here. And then the town with the quote-unquote mini blacksmith I built. Another storehouse. Tree farming area. Or, and then the, a single house you can call it the farmhouse, because then behind it is the pasture with all the animals. Farmhouse with all the animals. And then this is the blacksmith, where you can buy custom weapons. The warrior's warehouse. The warrior's warehouse. Run by one of the players, of course. But that's about it for the spawn town. Okay. And then you and go This up is the, the cliff. village of Ors Rest. Yes. And then, is there a name to the world that this is on? Your Minecraft world? Nowhere. Nowhere? I thought it was the Lost World, but it's nowhere? I think it's nowhere. It's nowhere. And then you go up the hill, and there's like uh, one castle, two castle. Oh. Oh, different kinds of castles. Yeah. One looks kind of, um, what would you describe that as? Medieval-esque. That one. And right, one has medieval tower, then the other has kind of more of a renaissance tower, shall we say? It's kind of sure. Just... And that's pretty much the spawn area. Okay. And so what is your intention with this server? Well, just to give people a place to play Minecraft, hang out, play online with one another, and do role-playing if they want. I see. And if you're not a roleplay fan, you do not have to roleplay. It's just we built the tavern for a primarily roleplaying location. And if you don't intend to roleplay in the tavern, you don't have to go to the tavern and roleplay. Mm-hmm. There are, are custom, uh, not enchantments, but uh, custom items that are made. Okay. And so, and this is vanilla, so it's straight 16.2. Do you have any, uh, what are they called, resource packs or um, anything... We do Add have to data packs. Data packs, okay. Uh, there's the full list on the video. There's a lot. There's a lot. 13. And, and the main difference between this is if it's a modded server, then anybody who's logging into the server needs to install the mods on their version of Minecraft local yes. so they can play it and get on. With data packs and resource packs, those are available on the server. Yes. And so the players don't have to do anything special to access those. Yes. It's all server-side or, I mean, resource packs are client-side, but everything else is server-side. Trying to make it a little bit easier. On the players, yeah. On the players. Because it sounds like you have made a few mods on some other versions of Minecraft. Yes. Maybe had another mod modded server or two. Yes. But that's another episode for another time. Mm-hmm.
Okay. Well, that was an intro to Orgs Rest. And this is Adventure Podcast. And I'm Adventure Steve. And I'm Adventure Sam. And we'll see you next time.